Good morning, everyone, all the people who are worshiping online around the globe. Now, there is hope, peace, and joy and love in Christ. And today, since the day after Christmas, we're going to talk about Christmas, about Jesus himself. But let us pray together and get into worship. Eyes closed, put your hands together. Lord, we thank you for hope and peace and joy and love in Christ. And you have shown us all this in the sun as we worship you and as we celebrate once more about christmas we want to learn about you and about the sun that is revealed in the bible and as we worship you father god that you will lift us with joy and hope and love and peace that you have shown us through christ we love you in jesus this name we pray amen all right guys time for praise Everyone, stand up. Praise the Lord. Woo! Before even time began, my life. 
Hey, uh, good morning, boys and girls. Let's pray together. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we praise Lord Christ born on Christmas and who came to us to die on the cross for our sins. Forgive us of our sins as we repent of our sin and believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior. May Holy Spirit come into our hearts and open our hearts to you. We come together to worship you and listen to your words so that we may know how to live for you. Speak to us and make us whole again and worthy of you. Help us to not fall to temptation of this world and always look to the cross so that we may know that you are uh, our true living God. Bless the Young Seng Church and Junior Elementary Department so that we will always be able to proclaim, proclaim your words and glorify you and may many repent and become true believers. Bless pastors uh, and uh, times of the church as they serve and work for your kingdom. Uh, we, praise, uh, we, we pray for them so that you will always provide for them. We pray especially for Sarah Chandrasanim, who you have uh, sent us to take care of us. Uh, may your blessings fall upon her and may your love and mercy be always with her and her family. We pray for all your blessings for all the teachers and assistants who serve in the junior elementary department. Grace us with your presence as we worship together. In Jesus' name, uh, we pray. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, let's uh, recite the Apostles' Creed together. Let's start. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he uh, rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated on the right-hand side of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of our sins, the resurrection of our body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Happy Lord's Day, everyone. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. Just being at Christmas worship yesterday morning, it was just an awesome experience for us to again celebrate Jesus' birth. I hope you enjoyed the worship that we had with your family. As we open up the worship, I want you guys to listen to wonderful praise our choir has given and shared with us.
us to worship this Sunday morning. Hallelujah. Our mighty God has invited us and come down on earth as an infant child to give us new life in him. Let us open to our Bibles this morning. We're going to open to book of Luke chapter 2 verse 46 through 50. And this is God's word. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at some understanding and his answers. And when his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been searching for you in great distress. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's hours? And they did not understand the saying that he spoke to them. Let us open with a prayer. Indeed, Father, you are mighty, everlasting, Emmanuel God to us. We thank you so much for giving us privilege for us to worship this morning as we dedicate this time to you, that you come and speak to us. Use us to just make your name known around the world. Help us, Father God, to feel the peace you give us as you shed blood and died on the cross for our sins. But Lord, the victory you've given us over sins, Father, rising again from the dead, it is that story, God's story, that we all have in our hearts that we ought to live continuously to worship you. Please be with me as I speak your word. Please be with our students as they listen to your words. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now that we learned how Jesus was born 2,000 years ago, we always remember this story every Christmas, yet we often forget that the Christmas is a day where we also celebrate and hope and waiting for that second coming of our Lord Jesus. Before we get to that, I ask you, your children, ask you children, have you ever imagine what Jesus was like when he was a child. Maybe if God sent Jesus during our time and he happens to be around you, can you even recognize the boy Jesus? Well, there is a very small section in the story of the Bible and the Gospels that tells us about how Jesus was once a child and when he was 12 years old he grew up in the town of nazareth with his mother mary and his father joseph can you imagine do you think as a boy um do you think he did all the things that the ordinary boys have done yes i'm sure he had played with the neighborhood kids um he had probably also um, had some many friends, but yet he also um, did a lot of uh, work around the house, helping Mary, his mother Mary, and his earthly father, Joseph. Now, this short passage that tells about Jesus tells about when he was 12 years old and when Mary and Joseph took him to the, the town of Jerusalem where the uh, temple was and every year they had a festival of Passover and it was a big holiday tradition where we they thousands of people around the village and around the country would gather in this temple to give offering and to celebrate the Passover when God delivered um, the Israelites out of Egypt and many people came by feet traveling to come to the temple to worship God now this festival lasted several days and after the festival now they have packed up all their things and they're ready to go and 
the mother Mary and and Father Joseph um, kind of went along with um, the other people from nearby village uh, from Galilee and they made their trip back to Nazareth um, and they kind of thought and saw Jesus before they left and they kind of assumed that Jesus was with them and as they were going on a journey this one evening Mary and Joseph set up their camp and when they looked for Jesus they couldn't find them can you imagine how Mary and Joseph might have felt? I don't know about you, but if your parents have lost you for even for an hour where they cannot find you for an hour, they will go very crazy. I remember when I lost my child for even for like 15, 20 minutes, I didn't know where they were. All this thought went through my mind and I cannot just bear the burden of, you know, uh, losing my child. And I can't imagine how God must have felt uh, when he is seeking to find his lost people all the people that belongs to his kingdom, yet many still needs to return to Jesus. Well, they're frantically looking for Jesus, asking people around to see if they saw Jesus. A boy who was about 12 years old, what he was wearing. And as they search and search, they couldn't find him. So they backtracked where they have gone to travel from Jerusalem to where they were. So they went back trying to see where Jesus was, looking for him all over the city for three days. And they finally backtracked all the way to the temple. They searched and searched around the temple and suddenly they saw Jesus. And Jesus was not crying in the corners, screaming out of his lungs, looking for his mom and dad. He was just calmly sitting with the teachers of God's word, the Pharisees and Sadducees. And these are highly educated people that would not even sit next to children. But yet Jesus was sitting with them and many of the teachers of the law were just amazed in the conversation they were having with Jesus about God. And those who listened to Jesus were just fascinated. And when they heard about how Jesus gave, how he had purpose and a plan for his life, and when Mary saw Jesus, she came to Jesus and said, Son, why have you treated us like this? Where you came from? Oh, mama, under us, so, right? And, and Joseph and Mary hugged Jesus probably and anxiously, anxiously they told him how they were heartbroken to and looking for Jesus and told him how they were looking for him. And when Jesus saw his mom and dad, he said, why were you searching for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? doing what he had wanted me to do. And Mary and Joseph did not understand. They must just lost the fact that they were just looking for their child, but they might have just forgotten how God has used them to send Jesus on earth and his mighty big plan is for Jesus to grow in the word of God, in God's house and teaching 
fulfilling God's great plan for the world. Well, after all that, Jesus still returned back home with Mary and Joseph. And when they returned, his parents just were very thankful they were able to find Jesus. And Jesus did what, whatever Mary and Joseph asked him to do. And they were, he was very obedient to his parents. But to Mary, his mother, she treasured all these things in her heart. And I'm sure your mom is also treasuring all the memories that she has with you. Yet, we have to understand that God has a, had a plan for Jesus. And God, as God sent Jesus on earth, Jesus knew at a young age that he was carrying out God's great plan for the world. That Jesus was being obedient to God's word and he was being obedient to Mary and Joseph. Now, boys and girls, of course, Jesus might have joked around and laughed and he giggled and he probably um, had tricks on his mom, Mary, and I'm sure he did a lot of things that you do, yet he, his heart, always remember God's great plan. And I want you to remember through that today's text that Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and God is choosing you to grow in wisdom and stature just like Jesus. And how Jesus walked on earth, God wants us to walk as we follow the example of Jesus. Boys and girls, as we celebrated Christmas, hallelujah, we're so glad Jesus came on earth. And as we celebrate, as we move on with our life, and as we open our new year, we hallelujah and celebrate what God is going to do through our lives. And as we grow and mature in Jesus, and I hope and pray that you will remember today's lesson to celebrate his second coming, that he will soon return to take us home. Yet meanwhile, God wants us to be true to him and worship him wholeheartedly. Boys and girls, I hope you all have a wonderful just holiday, the Christmas holiday and the new year, time of reflection and we reflect not on just our life, but what God has done in our life and be open to what God is going to do and show us through our year 2022. Have a blessed time. Why don't we bow our heads and let's pray. Lord, we are so thankful how you have brought us to your house to worship you. Lord, in spirit, we worship you and we thank you for calling each one of our boys and girls to be your children. How Please help all of us to continue to grow in wisdom and stature, that we as a young boy and girls will continue to love you, Lord, wholeheartedly and grow up to be obedient to your calling. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, let's recite the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, power, and glory forever. Amen. All right, boys and girls, have a great rest of the week. I'll see you next week. Jesus, Savior, Jesus.